Okay, so this is now the part four of the presentation for the performance of diesel power plant. So this presentation tackles more on heat rate and fuel rate. Okay, so heat rate, it is the amount of energy required to produce a power output. Okay, so again, this heat rate is also divided into four. The first is the indicated heat rate. Second is break heat rate, uh, heat rate rather, the combined heat rate and the plant heat rate. So the basic definition of heat rate that is equals to the reciprocal of the thermal efficiency. So thermal efficiency is defined as the power over the energy chargeable. So by this time, we are now going to get the inverse of that, which is now the heat rate, equal to the energy chargeable over the power. Okay? So, take note, the unit for energy, energy chargeable is in kilojoules per hour. And the power is defined in terms of kilowatt. So, the unit now, of the heat rate is kilojoules per kilowatt hour in SI. So, but in English, so that is defined in BTU per horsepower hour. Okay? So, that is for heat rate. So, let us now proceed to the indicated heat rate. IHR. So, designated as IHR. So, this is the ratio, of course, of the energy chargeable to the indicated power. Okay. So, IHR is equals to EC over IP. So, knowing also that EC is equals to MF multiplied by HB and then substituting it, IHR now is equals to MF HB over IP. Okay. So, we can also uh, write this IHR or uh, determine the relationship of the thermal efficiency and the heat rate. So again, so going back to the thermal efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency is 3,600 IP over MF time HB. Or IP now, Interchanging the equation, i.e. multiplied by MF times HB over 3,600. And then, substituting now this IP from the IP from the equation of the indicated heat rate. So, substituting it now, the value of indicated heat rate is now equal to 3,600 divided by the indicated thermal efficiency. So, therefore, if we want to determine easily the indicated heat rate, just divide 3,600 by the thermal efficiency or vice versa. Knowing the thermal efficiency or indicated heat rate rather, so, and then getting the indicated thermal efficiency that could be equal to 3,600 divided by indicated heat rate. So, this uh, formula comes easy. Okay? So, for break heat rate, again, the derivation are all the same. Okay? So, the break heat rate now is equivalent to mass of fuel times heating value divided by the brake power. And then, getting the relation of the thermal efficiency and heat rate, the brake heat rate now is equal to 3,600 divided by the brake thermal efficiency. Okay? So, for the combined heat rate, again, combined heat rate is equal to energy chargeable over the output of the generator. Okay? Substituting values. Combined heat rate equals mass flow rate times heating value over EP. So, getting now again, 
the relationship of the thermal efficiency at heat rate and now combined heat rate is also 3600 divided by the combined thermal efficiency okay so for plant heat rate again this is the ratio of the energy chargeable to the plant output okay so plant heat rate now is equals to mf time hb over electrical power multiplied by one minus percent plant used and then getting now the relation of the plant thermal efficiency and the plant heat rate plant heat rate now becomes 3600 over the plant thermal efficiency okay so next we have also the so-called fuel rate okay so what is a fuel rate so fuel rate is defined how much fuel is required to produce a power so how much of the fuel uh, injected to the engine in order to produce a power maybe of one kilowatt horsepower or ps okay so basically the equation for plant or fuel rate rather is equals to mass of fuel divided by the power okay so the unit for si so that is in kilogram per kilowatt hour so in english that is now or that could be pound per horsepower hour okay so this heat rate also or fuel rate rather is also divided into four so one is the indicated fuel rate next is break fuel rate the next is the combined fuel rate and the plant fuel rate so of course the derivation are all the same so for indicated fuel rate so that could be mass of fuel divided by the indicated power okay so for brake fuel rate that is equivalent to brake fuel rate is equals to mass of fuel over the brake power and then for combined fuel rate that could be cfr equals to mf over ep and for the plant fuel rate equal to mass of fuel times ep multiplied by one minus percent plant used okay so let us take this example a large diesel engine used for consumption of a sheep has a maximum efficiency of 50 percent when producing 50 megawatt of power when using heavy fuel oil with relative density of 0.91 and energy content 42 megajoules per kilogram determine the specific fuel consumption in mega, uh, kilogram per megajoules next is the specific fuel consumption in kilogram per kilowatt hour and then fuel consumption in liter per hour okay knowing the given thermal efficiency equals to 50 percent power is 50 megawatts specific gravity is 0.91 and heating value of 42 megajoules okay so knowing that the thermal efficiency equals 3600 multiplied by the power over mf time hb okay rearranging the equation and then getting mf that is now and then substituting values the value of mf is 8571.43 kilogram per hour okay so using conversion to make the uh, mass fuel in liters per hour so by just dividing this by the specific gravity since the density is equals to 0.91 kilo, kilogram per liter therefore the mass of fuel is 9419.2 liter per hour okay so getting now the formula for fuel rate fuel rate equals to mass of fuel over the power and then substituting values 
the mass of fuel at uh, 571.43 kilogram per hour divided by 50 megawatts or 50,000 kilowatts. So the fuel rate now is 0.171 kilogram per kilowatt hour or simply equivalent to. So converting now to make it uh, kilo and kilogram per megajoule. So that is equivalent to 0 0.0. 476. Okay, so another example, we have here a diesel engine operating on a four-stroke cycle has a heat rate of 11,315.6 kilojoules per kilowatt hour. Okay, break. The consumption ratio or the, yes, compression ratio rather is 13. Not consumption, but compression ratio is 13. The cut-off ratio is 2. And using K equals 1.32. What is the brake engine efficiency? Okay. So, knowing the heat rate, 11,315.6. Compression ratio of 13. Cut-off ratio of 2 and K equals 1.32. And then, getting the theoretical Thermal efficiency of the diesel engine. So, substituting values from the formula, the thermal efficiency now is 0 0.501. So, this is the theoretical cycle efficiency. Okay? And then getting now the thermal efficiency in terms of the heat rate. Okay. The thermal efficiency now is 0 0.318 or 31 0.8. And then break, getting now the brake engine efficiency, so this is the ratio of thermal efficiency to the theoretical thermal efficiency. Uh, substituting values now, the value is 63.5%. Thank you very much.